Right guys, I'll another video for you all, more content for the EMU VR playlist to help you understand the easy way to do symbolic links. This is going to help some of you save an awful lot of disk space as well as time. You can thank me later. As always with my videos, you're going to find useful links as well as timestamps in the description of the video as well as a pinned comment below. So let's first talk about what symbolic links are, sometimes called sim links. Uh, think of it as a shortcut to a folder or a file. It's an advanced shortcut though. In fact, it's so advanced that it will fool the EMU VR software into thinking that the file we've sim linked is actually that game file or that movie and it will work within the software. If we just did the normal shortcut, which is an LNK file, EMU VR won't play it. So symbolic links are pretty awesome. We could create them the old fashioned way using command prompt, like the good old days of DOS and type in a command. No one's got time for that nonsense. We're going to do it the easy way. So I'll give you a link to get to this website to get the link shell extension. We see quick start download is right next to it. So we'll click that to get to the right part of the page. All Windows 64, this version contains a 64 bit version, a link shell extension, but also contains a 32 bit version, which is installed in parallel. They're installed together. So that's awesome. We've got the blue hyperlink there. We can click on that to download the file to install the extension. So you do that. As you install it, it will give you a warning. It says it needs to restart the Explorer process. Don't worry about it. You don't need to restart the PC, but it does need to start the Explorer process because it's given us an extra option when we right click on folders and files. So let's see it at work and I can explain why it's so awesome. On the left side of the screen is my G drive. This is a solid state drive. They are quick, however, they're not exactly cheap. So space is at a premium. I do not want to waste it. I want as much free space as possible to put other games on there. So they will load quick, like Half-Life Alex and Saints and Sinners, my other VR games. On the right side of the screen is my E drive. That's just a mechanical drive. They get quite large storage without having to spend a lot of money. And I happen to have a lot of games on there already and movies. I don't need to have it on my E drive as well as my G drive just for it to work in EMU VR. So on the G drive, my solid state, I've got a fresh EMU VR installation to do the demonstration. We'll go into the games folder. It's saying copy your games here, one folder for each system. Okay, simple enough. So over on my E drive, I've got my Nintendo 64 folder. Now, rather than copy that across, that's going to take time. If it was PlayStation 2 and they're DVD images, they can be 4 to 8 gig each. So you do 5 or 10 games, you've got to wait for that stuff to transfer. Never mind losing space on my uh, solid state drive. So instead, I'm going to right click and I've now got pick link source as an option because of what we installed. So we'll do that. And I'll come back over to the EMU VR games folder and I'll right click again and I can drop as a symbolic link. And this will happen within seconds. There we go. So I've got my Nintendo 64 folder, but it's got a funky icon just to remind me it's not actually a real folder. It's a symbolic link. So I can go in there and just see all the games are in there. It tells me the size they are, but they're not really there. They're still on that E drive. So that's pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do whilst I'm here quickly is just create a new folder. I'm going to call that DVD for DVDs. That'll be the next video. We're going to talk about uh, doing media for the uh, games and discs. So let's come out of the games folder and go into game scanner so we can just make sure that everything's working. We'll run the game scanner software. So yeah, it's looking in my G drive, EMU VR, the games directory. Cool. You can do an attempt autofill. So what that's doing is just scanning the folders in there. So because the way Nintendo 64 was named, it made sense to it that it was for the Nintendo 64. So we'll just double check. The media says Nintendo 64 and we'll check the cores. It's trying to use RetroArch cores for the Nintendo 64. So that's good. I've got a little down arrow that's telling me that the core hasn't been downloaded yet. We can't play the games until we actually have the core. It's found the DVD folder, but under media it actually says VHS, which would be a tape, not a DVD with an EMU VR. So that's no bueno. I need to click on that and change it to DVD. And the core is FFmpeg, that's fine. So we can update the core list, which will just check if there's any more RetroArch cores that have been added since we last used the software. Sometimes they get updated and we'll save our changes. Now I can download the missing core. So I can play the Nintendo 64. Awesome. And now we can scan the games. So yeah, it's 
although it thinks it's in the G drive, it's really not. It's actually on the E drive. So it's about 250 odd games, I think. Those Z64 files. So it gets to about 50%. Should magically finish. Whammo, there we go. Right, so OK. And we can close that down. And we can see it's created an EMU VR playlist with all of those Nintendo 64 games. Right, so let's go down and do forced desktop mode just to test it out, make sure everything's working. Right, so it's quite dark in here. Better turn the light on up to the light switch, press space. Right, so I'll press tab, which brings up the inventory. There's the Nintendo 64, and it shows that because it, we've got some 64 games in the library. So I'll press X, we'll bring that out. Tap X again to drop that. And I'm going to do F and point it at the television and do F again. That's hooked up the video cable. Let's have a look at the inventory for the actual Nintendo 64. And there are all of the games. Now they are missing the labels. We'll worry about that in the next video. But we want to make sure that they actually play. So there's GoldenEye. I'll press X to pick it up. Tab will close. Q is just going to lower me down until we see the yellow outline and I can just press X, drop it in there, space to play. There we go. Definitely works. turn that off you don't need to see me play the game right so we'll leave it there guys as i say the next video we'll talk about doing dvd movies and creating dvd labels and also doing the other games like the gamecube doing the artwork for that so i will see you when i see you next have a great day have a great evening whatever you choose to do after watching this ciao for now